Greetings everyone, Joe here from the Alpha Station doing a quick install video on the Alienware 15 laptop. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is remove the screws on the bottom. So you have four there. You also have one here, one here, and one here. So let's go ahead and get those removed. Get those in a nice spot. So in this video we are installing the uh, a replacement HDD. Um, it's a standard just HDD, not, no SSD uh, hard drive. Uh, but I am installing a M.2 SSD into the unit as well. And we're going to install another stick of 8GB DDR4 RAM. All in one video. How does one do such things? Impossible, they say. Impossible. So, go ahead and get these all removed. What I like about Alienware and their laptops is they have things easily accessible. There's a couple screws and you're in your, your unit. This top screw is the one that bothers me the most, I think. I actually can't get it out, ever. Okay, so, go ahead and pull out your case. A little bit of force. And some grip, which I apparently don't have. Alright. So, remove the case. And the back panel, I guess you can say. And in here, you have your hard drive. You have your DDR RAM. Um, and you have a slot for your M2 component unit there. So, first step we're going to do is install the RAM. Because that's probably the easiest step of all, right? RAM's easy to install. Everyone loves RAM. And that's what we're going to do. So, before you do anything, there's a very important thing you have to do, which is remove the battery uh, connector. You don't want to shock anything that causes the system to kill the battery. So, right here, is your battery cable. And if you look, if you can see here, it's very dim, but it says release battery cable first, right? So, lower it down a little bit. And it's nice, easy to pull out, right there. So there's our cable. That's what it was in, that's what is inside. It says battery right there. Remove that so you do not shock anything that you're not supposed to. So like I said, we're gonna start right here with the H DDR4 RAM. Here's my replace, our additional unit I'm adding in. Like I said, it's just an 8 gigabyte RAM. So you simply plop it in. Like so. Push in. Make sure it's nice in there. And click. That's it. That is now installed into the unit. Next we're going to install my wonderful WD, WD Western Digital, still around, blue stick, it's an M.2 500 gigabyte SSD hard drive. Easy to install. Now we'll go into this slot here. Now there is one here. There's also one, I'm gonna move this. There's also one right here. So you do have two additional slots for memory if you do not want to take the approach of uh, just using, or just replacing an SSD actual hard drive. So, that's easy. There's one screw here. It's tiny. Don't lose it. Put that somewhere so I don't lose it. Here's the, S or, uh, the M2 drive. And that's really simple as well. Plop it in just like the RAM. Right there. Plop in. And then you take your screw, there's a little notch right up here at the top if you can see. Move it up a little bit right there. And you're going to plop in your screw 
into that little slot and screw it back in. That's it. Drive's installed. Easy as cake, right? All right, now we have to get to the HHD. Here's your hard drive right here. There are three screws to remove. There was one right here, one right here, and one right here. Right here, sorry. So let's go ahead and get those three removed. These are also very tiny screws as well. Thankfully, I'm a fairly skinny guy. I have little tiny fingers. Which, even for my little tiny fingers, it's easy to lose the screws. As I said, I'm replacing this uh, simply because my other drive has all my Alienware units or information on it. No need to use the one that's in this unit, brand spanking new. All right, so there's our hard drive. Now you can detach the hard drive. There's a cable right here from the actual unit. I'm gonna avoid that. I just hate doing it for whatever reason. But there are four screws right here, right here, right here, and right here. Remove those four screws. The thing about laptops are obviously they're portable, right? That's why people buy laptops typically. When it comes to changing things on a laptop, everything's locked down tight, which they should be because everything's being moved. All right, so four screws removed. Now this is easy. Take off your the top here. And there's a little connector here you pull. Just like that, drives out. So there's my replace or uh, driver I'm taking out. And the unit or drive I'm placing in right here. So now you can reconnect it. It's pretty much dummy proof as well. Not calling anyone a dummy, I'm just saying. <laughs> pretty tough to put it the wrong way. Okay, so connect it again. Pop in your screws again, which they're tiny, as I said. There's that one. Another screw. And I detached the cable anyways. Remember I was saying how I hate detaching that HD D cable. Well, I did anyways. It's I don't like doing it because it's such a tiny connector. It's probably more safe to remove it that way, I guess. Feel free to comment on your thoughts on that. I enjoy having wonderful comments saying I'm doing things wrong. Even though I've been working on computers since I was, what, nine, eight, nine, somewhere around there, so a good 16, 17 years of my life. Okay, so all those four screws are installed back into the unit. Pop it back inside. I'm going to reattach the HDD cable right away. Because no one will probably forget. I detached it. That one's really simple. Just put in pressure. Have that locked down again. Plug in your screws. Don't worry about mixing them up because they are all the same length, at least for the shell. Replaced, what do we replace today? Hard drive, HDD hard drive, an M.2 
500 gigabyte SSD drive we installed. We also installed an 8 gig DDR4 RAM into this unit. So we made a little bit improvement with the memory, kept the same hard drive, and added an additional space. And reconnect the power now. Back in there. Very, very simple. Slides in the slot. There's our unit. All back installed. Final step, the casing. So in the casing, from what I've gathered here, the, the bottom goes in first, slides in. Something similar to that. And then your top can just be pushed down. And then once you lock, start screwing them in, you hear it lock down in place with the pressure. So if I put this one in, you might hear it with the mic. With my Alpha unit, I did the same thing. Here, all these cracks and creaking. First time I did it, I thought I broke plastic. It just doesn't sound all hot. But this backing is like a, it's like a steel or aluminum or something. I'm not quite sure what the, what it is, but uh, when I read, you'd be watching me put in some screws, which is quite impressive. All right, all the screws are installed. Just checking the case on the side, make sure there's nothing that shouldn't be there, and there we are. We are back in action. Alienware Alpha uh, 17, sorry, 15, sorry, uh, is ready to go. Thanks for watching, guys. Please comment, subscribe, your thoughts below, and more.